Yo, what's up guys, Toby here back with another video, and today we are going to be taking a look at a pure workstation laptop. This is the most powerful laptop that I have ever laid my hands on. Meet the Dell Precision 5510. So before this video starts, I just want to give you guys some information that I think would be good to know. Dell sent me this laptop to review, although I cannot keep it and my review will be super honest of course. Also, this entire video was made on the Dell Precision 5510. So, how did I test this laptop? Well, what I did was I turned off my main desktop computer and moved the entire TechMeNow operation over to the 5510 laptop. And that means editing, scripting, uploading, rendering, and watching videos solely on this laptop. The box that the laptop comes in is the usual Dell packaging. You get the laptop itself, some documents, the charger which lights up to help find in the dark, and a USB Type-C to Ethernet adapter. Now to start off this review, we are going to be taking a look at who this laptop is for, its specifications, its ports, and the actual build of the laptop. We will then move over to some more practical things like the keyboard, trackpad, and display. And once we are done with that, we will do some testing such as benchmarks and video editing and more. So with that said, let's get right into the video. So who is this laptop for? Well, not gamers, not people in school, and not normal people. This laptop is for what I like to call creative professionals. So basically filmmakers, musicians, animators, photographers, and everything along those lines, or just people who want the most powerful laptop that they can get their hands on. Because yeah, the Precision 5510 packs a punch. So, CPU, Intel Xeon E31505M, V5 at 2.8 GHz, RAM is 16 GB, storage we got 512 GB of SSD, the GPU is the NVIDIA M1000M 2 GB Quadro GPU, and the screen is a 3840x2160, which is 4K, Infinity Edge Touch Display. Whew, yeah, crazy specs right there. Alright, ports. So on the left hand side we have got the charging port, USB 3.0, HDMI, USB Type-C, and a headphone jack. Apple, nice. On the right hand side we have got a Kensington lock, battery indicator, USB 3.0 followed by an SD card reader. Awesome. Now in terms of build, we have got the same exact build as the Dell XPS 15, and that is definitely a good thing. We have got this beautiful aluminum top and bottom with chamfered edges and soft touch coated carbon fiber on the inside. Up front, we also have an LED light that shows if the laptop is charging. And uh, oh my god, the display. It's the Infinity Edge 4K touch display with practically no bezels. It's beautiful, but it's covered in glass though, which makes it prone to glaring and fingerprints, but that's fine. It looks too good to even care. And the colors are poppy and immersive, the viewing angles are okay, and the screen is very sturdy. Uh, the screen's hinges are also a little bit too stiff though, so you can't open the laptop with one hand. But that's also to be expected of a touch display, because you do need it to be sturdy and not flopping around. And talking about touch display, is the touch functionality actually useful? Yeah. Definitely. Also, because it's such a bright and high resolution display, it draws a bunch of power, and that definitely shows in battery life. Alright, let's take a look at the keyboard. It's the best laptop keyboard that I've ever tried. In fact, I wrote this entire video script on this laptop. The keyboard looks good, and the buttons are tactile and feel good. And the layout is fine. Up top, you have got some controls too, as usual, and those include music control, screen brightness, and more. Alright, 
That is the keyboard, but what about the trackpad? The trackpad itself feels good, it's big, and the buttons feel good and tactile, but the gesture controls don't really work properly. Two finger scrolling is a hit or miss. Sometimes it works good and sometimes not so much. And zooming in just doesn't work. This is obviously not a deal breaker, but I just thought that it was kind of weird given this laptop's price. The Dell Precision 5510, just as the Dell XPS lineup, has its webcam on the bottom of the display. The webcam itself is decent, but the placement bothers me. It's practically unusable. Alright, that is the laptop itself. Let's get into some benchmarks and show you how this guy performs. That leads us into our conclusion. If you edit videos, make music, animate, or anything along those lines, this laptop is for you. With its Xeon CPU, 16 gigs of RAM, Quadro GPU, SSD, drive, 4K touch display, and great build quality, it's the best laptop I have ever laid my hands on, period. And for that, the Dell Precision 5510 gets the first ever Tech Me Now Top Tech Award. If you ever see me giving this award, you will know that the product is amongst the best, if not even the best. So thank you so much for watching, thank you Dell for sending the laptop, and please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.